Jason, about three years since we were last here at Arrowsmith, there's been a lot of changes in the organisation. Can you tell us now about the structure and, and how things have changed? Yeah, we've become part of the ASG group. Um, so there's seven or eight companies in there. Um, we're a new aerospace group. Um, so that's, that's going very well. Um, we're still quite independent how we run. Um, but yeah, I don't know whether it's a coincidence, but we've grown 35% in the last year. Um, so yeah, it's going well for us. 35% in a year, that's fantastic. Yeah, it is pretty good, isn't it? Um, it was about time we've been waiting three years to grow. Do you know what I mean? Just bobbing along. Um, but yeah, this year it has actually kicked in. So. And, and some of the investment you've made here is, is pretty phenomenal as well, isn't it? Is that as a result of the growth? It's, you've had to invest in new machines from uh, lead precision machine tools? Yeah, it's. I mean, we've invested gradually over the last three years. Um, but because this opportunity has come to grow, you've got to be ready. So, yeah, I think in the past three or four months, we've purchased three machines at about £300,000. So if the work comes in, we'll buy more machines. Um, we're very lucky here we can probably get another 10 machines in. So bring the work on, I'll keep growing, I'm happy. And it's very evident in your machine shop that you you are, you have, I mean, they're all lead well machines. Do you ever consider anything else or do you just literally pick up the phone to those guys and uh, we'll have another one? No, don't tell them, no, 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 good God, no. No, we, we do look at lots of machines. Um, so why do these always win? Uh, have you seen a grown man cry? Brendan, their salesman, literally, I do at times think he is going to cry. Um, now that they come up with a good deal, it, it, it's, the machines work for us, it's FANUC based, um, they're reliable. But the other thing now, we've got three five axis machines, all the same, so we can jump between them. We've just bought another fourth axis to link up with our other fourth axis, so again, works very well. Because we've changed really from a uh, Aliens and Stranger development company, more into doing production work it works better for us that we can link the machines together move the programs across um, it just work, works well and, and some of the work's pretty challenging i've seen some of the components today you're doing some pretty difficult materials as well on these machines aren't you yeah it, it's we do development work with rolls royce so it's all a lot of its engine components so it's really hard metals uh, some of these metals are, are being looked at the catapult centers amrc and mtc um, we work with those to be able to work on it. So yeah, it is challenging. So, so I mean, I know there's more expensive machines, but these are coping with some pretty hard material. So they wear well, would you say? Yeah, they do. They're, they're okay. Obviously, a lot of it's down to the tooling, your speeds and feeds, and this sort of thing. Um, but yeah, that they are. That they're they're doing some pretty complex work for us. And, and this one here behind us is a, this is one of your latest, isn't this? The V40. Uh, IT. Uh, you, you've, you've also got on the ability on this to have a little fixed table either side of the uh, the five axis there, haven't you? Do you do second opping on there? Yeah, we're doing all sorts. As you know, as we're going along, we're working it. We're finding out what we can actually achieve with it. Well, I was talking to Martin earlier, and he was saying about the fact that uh, throughout the machine shop, you've kind of streamlined the way you do things. So you've now, whereas before you were doing uh, op one on one machine, op two on the next, op three on the next. Yeah. Now you've, you've that's all changed, isn't it? This is like you know four five face machining. Yeah. <laughs> Which yeah, which I know isn't a modern idea, is it? You know. <laughs> so, um, but yeah, of course, right. Because we're doing more production work. You have to remember everyone hearing this will think good god we're late from the 1950s but we were doing we do a lot of development work so a lot of it is we're we're fine-tuning work we're developing the work and then you do use the different machines um, but obviously as we've won production work that's when we can then move it on to uh, multi-axis machines and just have one machine doing it and down this Baton Road, there's a lot of engineering companies. Do you think there are any others out there that are as successful and as growing as quickly as you are at the moment, or are you kind of setting the standard? Yeah. No, I, I like to think they're all quite shabby and we're really good. Um, I mean, you've got the likes of Chins and Harris, these, these little companies. I joke, obviously. But no, very good companies. Um, huge sk skill base around Coventry and Warwickshire. Um, we all, it appears... The companies that have survived all do different things. Um, you look at, say, Chins, you look at us, you look at Hentons, you look at A&T. We all do uniquely different areas. And, and we're, we're very friendly with each other. We'll help each other out. We're, do you know what I mean? It, it's a big world. There's a, there's a whole world of competition. I'm certainly not worried about my 
compadres in Coventry and Warwickshire. Um, we all work very well together. So no, you, you can see the whole supply chain. Um, obviously, we're aerospace, so that's really what I see. And over the last decade, the aerospace supply chain has grown and improved incredibly, incredibly well. I mean, I know you do stuff with Churchill's, JJ Churchill, go and look at Air Factory. Absolutely stunning what, what they're up to. And where's the end game for you, Jason? You've obviously been through a, a bit of a buyout recently, but you're still heavily involved in the business. Will you still yeah. be here in a few years to come, do you think? Well, unless they sack me, yes. No, the whole plan is, yeah, is that they develop us, we grow. Um, yeah, I'm thoroughly enjoying it. I uh, really enjoy it. They, they allow us to keep running our own way. Um, I've got an excellent team around me, and the management team are well up for it. Um, and I think we're the, the happiest team we've, we've ever had here. Um, like I said, we've seen growth this year, 35%. We expect to grow again big time next year. Um, it's a lot better than having enough work, isn't it? Well, that's good. Uh, stick at it, because it'd be a shame to lose a big name. Uh, thank you for your time today, Jason. Okay, thank you, and big name, like it. <laughs>